Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and in today's video, I'm going to walk through how to print on pretty much any shape very easily. Let's get into it. When I first got my UV printer from LogoJet, I went through a two-day training. Now, the first day was pretty much setting up the machine, getting it to run, getting all the ink flowing and all of that. The second day was going through different kinds of projects, how to print them, and they did everything through the printing platform, Cathari, that comes with the printer. Having spent years using lasers and other machinery that requires special software just to run the machine, I will say that the Cathari software was kind of complicated. When I received my training, pretty much everything went through the Cathari dashboard. I might do the artwork in Illustrator or whatever uh, software you want to use, but the big thing that I got in my training was they would take the image I wanted to print, they would basically make the artboard the size of whatever I wanted to do. So if I wanted a template, that was one file. If I wanted the print, that was a second file. And then in order to print multiple of the same thing, I had to go into Cathari, add multiple instances, worry about the spacing. And honestly, it was one of the most complicated things to do. And it was very frustrating. Fast forward about a month. And in that month, I had been struggling to get things to print right. I constantly messed things up because either I had the spacing wrong or I had a number of instances wrong, or I did something in the wrong spot. And it got frustrating overall. And that wasn't really the experience that I was expecting. And a little while later, I actually talked to Justin Fisher, who showed me a little bit easier of a way to do it with Corel. And I was able to translate that into Adobe Illustrator. I will say that this method is much easier to deal with. It's more like what I do for the laser side of what I do. I had learned that there were so many other people that struggled with this and got frustrated to the point where some of them even sold their machines. So this video is to help all of you figure out how to print more easily onto pretty much any shape, any position of the bed, and make it super simple to do. The key for me is that I quit trying to use Cathari with all of its inbuilt features and everything that it does and basically turn it into just a print driver. And that made things so much easier. In this video, I'm going to show you how to print on these four different shapes. Now, if I were using the Cathari way where you import one at a time, this would be kind of a pain. But the way that Justin does it and the way that I do it now is so much easier to do. So I'm going to walk you through that with four different artworks on each one. First, I'm going to walk through it using Adobe Illustrator. And then I'm going to walk through the same process using Corel Draw so that both sides of the fence are covered. Uh, and hopefully this helps all of you. First, let's go over to Adobe Illustrator. I'll show you exactly what I do. And hopefully this will make it a little bit easier. Here on my screen are the four shapes that I just showed you that I've already cut out with my laser. These are the four designs that I want to do. You will notice one thing, which is if I zoom in, the graphics extend past the shape just a little bit so that I make sure when I print it, it extends to the edges of my object. I don't want it coming up short and leaving unprinted areas. So that's why they bleed over a little bit. So the first thing that I want to do is start a brand new document that is the size of my printer. For me, I have the UVX 40R Plus, which is 18 by 24. So I'm going to go to File, go to New. I'm going to select my 18 wide by 24 inch tall and select Create. This provides me with an artboard that is the exact same printing size as my machine. Now, the first thing that I want to do is make two artboards. To do this, I'm going to click on the artboard tool. Up at the top, I'm going to click the add new artboard. And now I have two of them. The reason for this is I'm going to use the first artboard as my template area and the second artboard as my art area. Now say you're doing 
50 plaques or, you know, a hundred of the same thing, whatever it might be. You can set up multiple artboards with those plaques. So say you have, uh, you know, 80 plaques. Say you can fit four on each one of those artboards. So you would need 20 artboards to make all of them. You can do that all in one file and that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm just going to do this example, which will be the two artboards, the template and the print. If you have something where you need, like say 20 actual artboards, the first one would still be your template and then all the subsequent ones would be all of the different art layers. Uh, so if you have a big order coming up, this would be a great way to do that. So I already have the art made. So I'm just gonna go over to that file, copy it and bring it into my new file. So right now I'm just going to position everything. So I have the first one up in the top left, the star up a little bit more, I'm going to put the hexagon there and then the square at the end. In reality, I can put these items anywhere on the artboard. I try to be the most efficient by lining them up in a line, but you can, if you wanted to, you could put them anywhere on the artboard and it would still do exactly what I'm going to do now. It, this is more of an efficiency thing. It'll print much faster and that'll be the way you wanna go. Now that I have everything positioned, I'm going to select just my artwork I'm going to cut them away from that layer using Control X. And then I'm going to come over to my other artboard, select that artboard just by having the selection tool and clicking on that space and using Control Shift V to paste in place. And you'll see that the outlines are in the same positions as the actual artwork. And that is pretty much all there is to the setup. So what I need to do is then save this as a PDF. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, Select PDF, and I'm going to call it Illustrator Example. For now, I'm just going to put this on my desktop in a UV print folder that I have. And underneath here, I'm gonna say All so it picks up both artboards and click save. Then I'm just going to click save PDF and the Adobe Illustrator side of this is finished. Next, I'm going to open up my print software. So this is Cathari. I'm going to go up to open, going to select that folder that I had before. So it's gonna be from my desktop Go down to UV test prints and Illustrator example. Double click it to open it up and you will see this PDF properties. You can see in the bottom it says one of two. Up at the top here under two raster total pages, there are two pages. I want to bring all pages in, so I'm gonna select the all pages button. Click the check mark. And what this is going to do is open both Wartboards as separate files or separate printing areas. So I have this set up to be cascaded. So if you go under Windows and you say cascade, you can see all of the artboards. If you're like this and you only see something like this, just go up to Windows, say cascade, and it will open them as separate windows and you can drag them around, resize them, whatever you need to do in order to get it to be more visible for you. The template's the first thing I'm going to print. So I'm going to print this directly onto the bed, and then I'm going to line up my items and then print the artwork on top of them. So to do the template portion, I just want to do the flat 720 by 900 color only. And that's all I'm going to do on this. Once I have that, I'm just going to go to hit Control P for print and click OK to print the actual job. So let's watch the template print real quick and I will show you the next steps.
Now that the template printing is done, you can see that it matches up just like it is on the artboard. So no matter where you place them on this bed, they will print onto the bed in the same position that they were on the artboard. Now that I have those, I can line up all of my items to be within the shape that it printed. Just make sure that you are within the lines or at least on top of the lines. And this is part of why I make sure that the art is slightly bigger than the object, because when you are lining these up in their shapes, you have to be pretty exact. Now you can print up like multiple layers and boundaries so it locks it in better or laser cut templates so it locks them in better. But this is a quick way to get unique shapes wherever you need them to be on the bed. So now that these are all lined up, I'm going to show you the next steps in Cathari. The next step, once the template is printed, is to print the actual art items. So in this case, it is MDF that I'm working with. I'm not sure how the items will print without some kind of white underbase. So I'm going to select my 720 by 1200 white plus color, and that's it. Uh, yes, you could mess with all the printer options and all of that stuff. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this example. But once that's set up, you can go ahead and press Control P to print to the printer. And once it's ready, go ahead and click OK. And once you take these off the bed, they're printed on exactly where they need to be. This is the benefit of using this method, is it's super easy to set up, it's super easy to print on different shapes, no matter what they are. And you saw that these are four different designs. That's the super easy way to print onto pretty much any shape. You can see that I have the square object with its print. I have the star object with its print. I have the hexagon and the circle with their prints. So all four of these, whoops. <laughs> so all four of these are a unique shape. All four of them have a completely different artwork, completely different design. And I printed them all at the same time in the same file and the whole setup maybe takes five minutes. It actually goes much quicker if you're not trying to film it uh, to be able to share it. it. It only takes minutes to be able to set this up. And this has made printing to the printer so much easier. Next up, I'm going to walk through how to do it in CorelDRAW. So the concept is the same. What I did was I just opened up the PDF that I had from the Illustrator example into here as a single page. So if I drag down the artwork, you can see all of the outlines behind it. Now the artboard is 18 by 24. It is called a page in CorelDRAW. And the big difference between this and Adobe is that you're going to have to add multiple pages Whereas in Adobe, it was multiple artboards. Now to do this, the easiest way, honestly, if you already have the artwork in here like this, is to right click the page, say duplicate page, put after selected page, and you can say copy layers only, copy layers and their content. Um, so if you click one of those, say the content one, click okay. It will bring in a new page, but also bring your artwork with it. And if I wanted to get rid of just the outlines, uh, honestly, it's probably easiest to just select your artwork, cut it, and then delete the actual outlines, and then hit Control V to paste the art back. The other thing that you can do is once you have the page, you can right click it, say, insert page after, it will bring in a page that's the same exact size. Go back to page one, select your artwork by holding down the shift key and clicking. Cut the artwork with control X so that you have just the outlines on page one. Go to page two, hit control V to paste, 
and it will all be set up exactly how you need it to be. So page one will be your template, page two will be your artwork, and you will be good to go. Then it's the same premise as Illustrator. You go to File, Save As, you will select the PDF option. I'm going to call this Corel, click Save. I wanna make sure that it's the entire document. You can select pages if you want to. Click OK. And then in the printer software, go to Open. I'm going to select my Corel example. And it's going to look exactly the same as the Illustrator one, where it's going to say all pages, click the check mark, and then once it opens it, you will import both the template as one job or one operation and the artwork as a second operation. I'm not going to reprint this since it's the same exact thing, but that is the same way to do it in Corel as I showed you in Illustrator. Once you set up the files in either Illustrator or Corel, it becomes really easy to print on any of these shapes and do whatever you need to do. I have found that this has dramatically increased my efficiency and how quick I can knock something out from design to print. In the past when I was trying to use Cathari, I think we're trained on Cathari because it's what they want you to use and because it was what it comes with the printer and everything else. And yes, it is necessary to get the job from, you know, Illustrator or Corel to print on the printer. But just because it has features doesn't mean you have to use them. And what I mean by that is sometimes they try to make the software for the machinery be able to do everything. And it ends up being extremely complicated to learn. And for somebody like me that's coming from the laser world, and knows how to run a CO2 laser, being able to take something from design and get it to print was pretty challenging because it was, was not straightforward. And you had to learn all these new things in Cathari to do it. And that's the way that I was taught. And you're taught to make it a certain size and then put instances of that same thing. And it made it way too complicated. And this method, when I use it, it's super easy, super straightforward. And all I'm using Cathari for is to adjust the actual print settings, whether that be like, I want a clear gloss on the top of it, or I want to have, say, white underneath, or I want to do just color, whatever it might be. That's all I'm changing on the Cathari side. I'm not messing with the number of instances. I'm not messing with where they're laid out. I'm not messing with any of that because it gets too complicated. This has by far been the easiest way to do this for me. I've been able to print on a variety of shapes from logos to die cut shapes to, you know, these shapes that we just did here that are, you know, built in shapes from the softwares. Uh, but you can print onto any shape using this method. It's super straightforward, super easy to do, and it doesn't take very long to do it. And if you're not going to be doing super complicated things and you just want to print on a plaque or a trophy or whatever it may be, this will greatly reduce how long it takes you to set up those files and get you printing and making money more easily. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I do have to say that Justin Fisher helped me out with this a lot. So credit to him. I appreciate his help on this. Um, I will leave, I think he has a Facebook or business in the link below in the description. So be sure to check him out. But if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Make Your Experiment where I share things along the way. But I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll see you in the next one.